Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperus here again, and today I'll be reacting to this new anime called An Arc Demon's Dilemma, How to Love Your Elf Bride, or Madome in the Japanese. Well, the, the, the whole title is actually very long, so we're just gonna call it Madome. So it's also a romantic comedy, but with fantasy elements. And it's, uh, I, I mean, I, you know, it's, it's <laughs> along the lines of what I've been watching so far. And I'm just curious about how this uh, show is actually going to go, how the story will <clears throat> be. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is Madome episode one. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay. Okay. So we have the, the Demon King. Alright. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can see why a lot of people are like like this. The, from the very first scene, it's very interesting because he's awkward. She's, well, you know, because of the... Because of the hierarchy between their positions, right? She's a slave elf. He's the arc... Well, I would say the demon lord. And uh, it's, it's basically your... Um, oh, huh, what, Prince and the Pauper? Kind of... But... Sorry, but... Rich person marries a... Um, poor person. <laughs> I, I don't really want to say it like that, but like... I mean, th those are very popular tropes before. Even... Especially here, where where I live, like that's a very popular trope in a lot of our um, dramas. But I don't know how they're going to approach this, right? Like a noble marrying a peasant, basically. <laughs> well, that's true. That's why it's called first love. All right. <clears throat> oh. Ah. Ugly looking guy. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened there? <laughs> it's a red skull. Oh. Okay, what's he going to do with him? Research? Mm. Oh my gosh, whoa. <laughs> That's a bit gory. Yeah, I don't know if, if this is actually appropriate for you too, but... <laughs> Okay. I like this guy. <laughs> He's so awkward. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so we're going to just repeat everything that happened. What's that? Something's interfering with his magic circle. Oh, 
Oh, somebody else is there. Herbatus. He looks worse than him, though. Mm. <laughs> 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 got so many so large bags under his eyes. Okay, so he's a loner. <laughs> okay. We're trying we're, we're getting a picture of who this person is or who Zagan is. became love struck <laughs> just by the sight of her this is very interesting how a lot of these shows these days feature the love at first sight kind of trope A love slave? Wait, what does that even mean? Hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Things you do for love. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if that's actually... Okay. We're gonna talk about Love at First Sight later on, but for now, let's just continue watching. He's not. Bro, it's the different kind of thing that he's thinking about. It's a lot more... It's a lot more different than that. A million. And the starting bid was 10,000. It's a thousand... I know, a hundred... times. Hmm. 
Preserved in her natural state. She's not brainwashed, is she? Okay. What's with the face? <laughs> yes. Not only that, his face looks so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a sinister face. Creepy. Devilish. He's so... I like the fact that he's fumbling with his thoughts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's with a start. From the intro. Why is it such a sin that I... <laughs> So we have got fling. What do you call that cage with the spikes? A torture chamber. Torture cage? What's her name? Oh, wait, can she? <laughs> Why does it, his voice sound like now for me? A cursed child? What does that mean? He's in love with you and he wants to know more about you. It's just how it is. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, this is not gonna. <laughs> I don't think this is. <laughs> he wants to marry you. Well, you did buy her. I think it's because she was traumatized. Mm. 
Right, it, it sounds like Naofumi's voice actor. I'm gonna search that later. Mm. So he can empathize with her. And then he made him a name for himself. Okay, it's good. <gasps> <laughs> Look at the, the vibrance in her eyes. Surprise, shock, I don't know. Just maybe a, a, a gratefulness. Gratitude. <laughs> okay, this is very interesting. So he's basically... Oh, he's basically going to kind of... Grab her from the depths of despair and try to give her hope. And maybe later, you know, try to make her fall in love with him just as much as he's fallen in love with her. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> right. He definitely should have cleaned up and Fixed up the whole place before all of it. Well, he he didn't really expect this. This was gonna happen. It's done? Oh, that's what that was a plan from the very beginning, wasn't it? Ah, oh, she's her f expression just softened finally. Blue star. Mm -hmm. I see. All right, that was very interesting. Um, I mean, the premise is, I, I don't think it's unique, but I think I like the characters and I think you know the fact that they're both I guess seemingly broken two broken souls you know who are who found each other um it's it's a very interesting journey I think that's going to happen how he's definitely just fallen head over heels for her and she has just lost all hope because she you know she's pro I, we don't know how long she's been a slave and how how she's lived and spent her life thus far before she got bought by Zagan. But it seems like she's before 
you know she was lifeless her eyes were there was no spark in her eyes and 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 once she was able to get to this place and see the moon that's when life finally sprung into her eyes and she was able to kind of uh become a little bit more vulnerable and relaxed for a bit right she her expression softened by a lot she was able to smile and she's no longer talking about death although <laughs> some of the comedic timing is good uh but i don't think it's mainly going to be about comedy although there were several moments several comedic moments uh, throughout the episode but ah yeah this is a very interesting one i wouldn't say it's top tier uh not yet at least the 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 starting the the initial premise of it is just just quite interesting and obviously there's this whole other thing with the arc de arch demons and you know the candidates for being the 13th one i'm guessing uh zagan will be up for for that as well he might become one we don't know but i'm very interested in seeing the the dynamics the character between the characters uh, barbados seems to be very uh, a funny guy even though he looks like a, a mess um and the other characters also they, they kind of look down on zagan probably because of his uh, because he doesn't have a title and probably because of his background. I don't know if anybody knows about his background, but going from a street urchin to a powerful sorcerer is no no laughing matter. It's not an easy feat either. So and being now being up uh, uh, being a candidate for the 13th the 13th archdemon position, that is something. Although spending your entire fortune on a sl an, a, a, an elf slave is, I don't know if that was reasonable, but you know, love can do the, can do a lot of crazy, can make, love can make anybody do some, anybody do crazy stuff. Right. So again, so a, a while ago I was talking about the concept of love at first sight and I don't really agree with that completely because although it's been shown in stories, movies, TV shows, I, I don't think that happens often in real life. Maybe it does. Uh, maybe some people really do have this odd spark and attraction with someone with whom they just met for the first time. Maybe that's possible. But I don't think it's the norm. I, I don't think it happens a lot either. You know, the, the way that relationships often go is that they develop gradually over time. The more that you spend time with someone, the more that you fall in love with them. And I, I don't really think that love at, first, love at first sight is something that's as common as, as say, you know, just fall. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think uh, I don't think love at first sight is very common, but it it might happen. It might happen to some people, but it's not a regular occurrence. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but the 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 use of that here as a comedic device is very great and very good. It was amazing. <laughs> Spending his entire fortune. Anyway. Yeah, so I will be watching this, I think, further. I want to know. I'm curious to see how his story ends. Uh, well, how his how their love story goes. And whether Nephilia will actually fall in love with him. Because I think that's his goal. I mean, that's what he needs to do. He has to make her fall in love with him. And to be able to do that, you know, you're going to just have to... Put a lot of investment and effort and pour out your heart and soul into the person right so i want to see how that how that goes and i want to know more about his story as well because it seems interesting how how and also the world the world 
that they're living in what is it really like um they mentioned marcosius and ah so much stuff it's an open world we can discover it as much as we can explore it in the next few episodes but for now thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations of shows that you would want me to react to um, feel free to comment them down below and see you in the next episode thank you guys for watching until the end of this video click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content see you in the next one